Hello, and welcome to this activity video. In this video, we will learn about the basics of 3D modeling with a software called Tinkercad. The topics in this video include logging in to Tinkercad, the starters tutorials, creating a teddy bear button, and finally, an ancient coin activity. Logging in and starter tutorial. Follow along on your own computer to learn how to log into Tinkercad and start creating your first parts. Stop or rewind the video if you get confused. To create a Tinkercad account, go to tinkercad.com and then select Join Now. Here you'll have two choices, students join a class or create a personal account. If your teacher has created a classroom, click Students Join a Class and then enter the class code provided by your teacher. Don't enter this code, this is just my example for you. Once you click Go to My Class, you can enter with a nickname created by your teacher. Here, I will enter the nickname my teacher provided me. Again, don't enter this nickname, this is my example. And now I have successfully created my Tinkercad account. This is your Tinkercad homepage. You'll see all the designs on the left and then all the options we'll use on the top. For this activity, we will click on the Learn button, which will take us to a set of pre-created lessons. Click on the Learn button to access the Starters page. Here you'll see Starters, Lessons, and Projects. We're going to work on Starters. Scroll down and click on the blue button to see all Starters. This is a set of seven tutorials that will teach you everything you need to know to use Tinkercad. We'll start with the first tutorial called Place It. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to place shapes in the work plane. All of the instructions are on the left for this tutorial, so you can follow those. But basically what we'll do is we will click on one of those boxes in the right hand side and drag it into the work plane. Click and drag. Tinkercad allows you to build any shape you want by combining these shapes on the right. Click the next button to continue. When you successfully complete a lesson, you'll, you'll get the confetti. You can then select done and continue to move on to the next starter. In this starter lesson, we will learn how we can view our models. So we'll use the view cube at the top. Again, the instructions are on the left, but by using the view cube, we can click on it and drag it to adjust our view. Additionally, you can click on specific sides of the view cube to jump right to them. Using the arrows and the view cube sides allow you to look at your model exactly how you want. Finally, we'll learn how to zoom in and out. My favorite way to zoom in and out on my laptop is to put two fingers on my trackpad, pulling them towards me zooms out, pushing them towards the screen zooms in. But you can also use the plus and minus signs to zoom in and out. Once you are comfortable using the view cube and zooming in and out, there's one more command we can use. It's called the orbit command. The way it works is two finger clicking on your trackpad and it will let you orbit around the object. This is really nice for getting a specific view of a hard to reach angle. If you're using a mouse, you can do this by clicking in on the scroll wheel. We completed this starter, let's move on to the next one. So far we've learned how to add shapes, change our view, and zoom. Now we're going to learn how to move shapes around. So here, we will follow the instructions on the left hand side. We need to drag four boxes into our work plane and then move them into those orange cubes. So I will add my four boxes. You can do the same. And then moving things around is very easy. You click on the box and drag it to where you want to move it. As you can see, simply click on one cube at a time and drag it to the corresponding box. Once you have completed the move it activity, go ahead and click on done and we will move on to our next starter. Here we will learn how to rotate shapes. Follow the instructions on the left to do this yourself. 
Rotating a shape is fairly easy. It begins by clicking on the shape and then these black curved arrows, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, allow you to tilt and rotate the shape. So what you'll do is click on each of these shapes and then practice using the black curved arrows to rotate it. Notice for this last shape, the properties menu gets in the way. So I'm going to use my view cube to orbit around and get a better view of it so I don't have the properties menu in the way. I'll also use the orbit commands to get a perfect view. There we go, now I can access the rotate arrow and get the shape looking how I want. Once you've rotated all of the shapes successfully, let's move on to the next starter. In this starter, we will learn how to change the size of any shapes we bring into Tinkercad. Uh, again, this is fairly easy. So we have three cubes here we want to change the shape of. To do that, simply click on the cube and then you can grab the black dots and stretch the shape in the direction of the black dot. Notice that the black dots in this center shape are in a different direction, so it allows us to stretch the shape front and back. Finally, this last shape will actually change its size using the white dots. I'm going to go ahead and adjust my view using the orbit command with two finger clicking. Select the cube, and then when I click on these white dots, I'm actually stretching two sides of this cube at once. Really handy for changing size. These cubes are looking resized well. We'll go ahead and move on to our next starter. In this starter, we will learn how to group two or more shapes together into one shape. This is great for creating complex designs or putting holes in parts. To do this, make sure two of your shapes are overlapping and then hold down shift on your keyboard and click on each shape you would like to group. So I'm going to click on the cube and the cylinder and go up and click on the group button. Notice they change to the same color because they are now one shape. Similarly, I can group a solid shape with a hole. So I'll go to these two shapes on the right. Um, I wanna put a hole through the center of the cube so in order to do that, I'll make sure the whole cylinder and the cube are overlapping. I'll hold shift and select both of them. And finally, I will click on the group button to combine them into one shape. Notice now I have a cube with a cylindrical hole through it. And finally, we will complete our last starter using the align command. Aligning is great for rearranging multiple shapes in an organized manner. To use it, hold down shift and select all of the shapes you would like to align. Then click on the align button at the top of your screen. You can then preview how the shapes will be aligned by hovering over the black align handles. For this starter, I will choose align handles to get them to look like the picture. So I'm going to hover over the handles see if I can find one that looks like it. And just for fun, uh, I'll click on the undo button. Maybe I made a mistake, uh, no big deal. You can click on the align tool again and then realign the shapes exactly how you want. So play around with the align tool and you have successfully finished up the starter tutorials. Now that you have completed the starter tutorials, you're on your way to becoming a Tinkercad expert. For this next section, we will actually create something useful. We'll create a teddy bear button. So you'll follow this tutorial to practice your Tinkercad skills. In order to access the teddy bear button tutorial, click on the Tinkercad logo to return it to the Tinkercad home screen. Then we will go back up to learn. You can see our shapes that we created down there. Once we're in learn, we will click on lessons scroll down and click on see all lessons. And then you're going to look for the teddy bear button lesson. So we'll scroll down until we find it. 
Go ahead and select the teddy bear button lesson. For me, I'm going to have to click on restart project because I already started working on it. Um, for you, just click on the lesson. It will take you into a Tinkercad workspace. And then the instructions are going to be on the left side here, telling you exactly what to do. Um, you'll start off by dragging a cylinder into the work plane, and then you'll follow each step to complete the tutorial. Make sure to follow each step on the left hand side to complete this activity. Now notice there are 17 steps in the upper left hand corner. I will leave completing those up to you. When you are done, you can then submit your design on Canvas. Now the export button is very helpful, but we mostly use this for 3D printing. What we will use is the send to button. Click on Send To and then select the Download button next to Picture of Your Design. This will download a PNG file of your 3D model. You can submit this photo to an instructor for them to grade it, or show it to a friend or family member. If your teacher is using Tinkercad Classroom, they can grade your work through that as well. And now for this mission's activity. You already learned how to create a custom button, now you will use those skills to create your very own ancient coin. Activity instructions. Normally, the ancient Greeks made their coins by hand, but hey, you have a time machine and Tinkercad. Students at Athens High want you to design a currency for their school. They will use the currency to buy lunch, school supplies, and other goods. Use Tinkercad to design a 3D model of a coin for Athens High. Add symbols and images that represent the school and make the coin look awesome. When you are done, export the PNG image of your design and submit it to your instructor. To create your coin in Tinkercad, go to the Tinkercad homepage and select Create New Design. Then this will open a new part file for you. By clicking on the name in the upper left hand corner, you can rename this to Ancient Coin or whatever other name you would like. Use your Tinkercad skills to design and build the perfect coin for Athens High. You can even add text using the text tool. When you get your Athens High coin looking exactly how you want, go ahead and click on the Send To button, then click on the Download button to download a picture of your design. This picture is what you can submit to your instructor for a grade. If you finish your Athens High coin early or want an optional challenge, Try to design three or more denominations of your new currency. Download the images of these denominations and submit their PNGs as well. Thanks for watching this Verizon Innovative Learning tutorial video. Best of luck with Tinkercad, we can't wait to see what you create.